Hey everyone, it's your host, Cyber Gaming Studios, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, I want to show you guys something really cool and show you a complete guide on how to have Windows 7 startup sound whenever you log in to your Windows profile on Windows 10. And I think it's pretty cool because Windows 10 was is an iconic operating system for even till this day, and I really loved Windows Windows 7 even till I still even love it. I prefer Windows 10 now than I do with Windows 7 because it does help me in some instances with gaming but I wanted to bring back an old a nostalgic kind of way to the modern O operating system Windows 10 and I think that a lot of you guys would benefit from this too. I spent a lot of time and probably like 30 to minutes to an hour configuring this and testing and stuff like that and I finally able to show you guys and be able to bring this to you guys so if you guys love windows 7 and you are on windows 10 and you miss the old nostalgic sound startup sound that windows 10 no longer brings you you can do that now so i'll have this folder you'll have a zip in the i'll have a link in the description you guys can definitely download and instantaneously unzip and set it up yourself in this video this will also guide i will guide you on how to install it and how to set it up so you don't have to do much on it um so and i'm going to show you some tricky checks if you're planning to move move certain files in a specific way especially only the audio file and you can't use this script for anything else, but um, right now this is I set it up for to have the Windows 7 sound, and it's the highest quality as well. So you're not gonna get any benefits. And I do apologize in advance if my audio of my mic sounds really weird and it doesn't sound high quality. I'm actually running this on an old PC, uh, a gaming PC, and it's a budget build. So yeah, I will ha in, in the coming months or year, I will be able to save up for money for a better gaming PC, and then this one I'll be getting rid of PC we game getting rid of and give it to get it to uh, my other family members to use so let's get started so because I don't want to waste anyone's time I know it's pretty much by the time I upload this video it's gonna be either late or I'll probably upload it in the next following day whenever you see this video but I'll have all the information you need to know in the description if for and how, everything else etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, if you can't see anything on this video so I do apologize in advance for anything of any issues so once you download the zip, you'll extract it and you'll see it like this. You'll need to open it and you will see two different files. You see Windows 7 start under win, win underscore 7 underscore startup. And then you'll see another file which is completely different, which is a VBS file. The reason it's a VBS file is because Windows will register this as an actual file for the startup sound. This is what the Windows 7 traditionally used to start to start up. So um, it's named Windows 7 Startup, and you see the file, this file has to be a WAV file, it cannot be anything else, otherwise it'll say ID3 or something like that, uh, in voice terms, so, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. So, what you'll need to do is, you need to press and hold Windows icon, and click R. You're also going to need to, be, you're going to, need to type in this command, shell, and a little two solid column, and then common, and then a space startup. Once you click that, you will see this folder pop up named startup, and you'll notice that I already have this file in here, but once you actually download it, you will need to take this file, either copy it or completely move it to here, to this folder, and this is the only file that you should see in here. You will probably see a desktop.ini depending on your computer, but mine doesn't have that, so I'm pretty much doing it like it runs up right here. Once you actually have it here, you don't really need to have, once you have this inside this folder, you don't really need to do the thing. All you can do, all you have to do is exit out of that window, and you'll need to do something with this Windows 7 startup file, WAV file. Well, how I set this up is if I go into edit, I can see how the code that I set for the specific um, command. So Windows will start off with the first line and end up with the, uh, with the last line. It will read the line. It will play. It will read whatever the, whatever the directory I set it to, and then it will speak out the whatever that web file hat contents have, which will be the Windows 7 startup startup sound. And once it's done, it'll close and boom, there you go. It's done. Um, so. You can edit this. I set it to, to local states, the, the, the root of your main primary um, disk drive, which is mine. I, I set 
I installed this one in my root, and this is where it will play. The reason I did local, I did in local disk is still, if I want to change the sound in the future, um, I could, and I don't have to look through, go to different folders and having to find it where I put it in. So it was much more easier doing this, and this is also a safer place. So if you are doing, it, say, cleaning your computer and you want to get rid of all your music or something like that to free up space, you don't accidentally want to accidentally remove this file. And I can show you, tell you guys, show you guys that this is a legitimate file. There we go. Now. Now you're going to see that that's an official file. That's what's going to load when you log into your Windows 10 profile. And it's pretty cool. I love it. It's very high quality sound. It's up to 320 k k um, kpbs. Um, I don't know how to put that in, in, in out of abbreviation. I'm so apologies for that. <laughs> I will have an instructions.txt in here for those who can't see all what's on screen. Um, so you guys can definitely, if you guys decide to keep this on your computer or want to do more, you guys can go back and review that instructions.txt file. If you want to want to change, like say for example, you want to put it somewhere else, you'll need to edit this file. You need to edit this, this path. Anything beyond this, you'll need to add the folder, the path, the path of where that file is going to be. And for this one, I set it to be the path on the root of your. Uh, of your disk drive and that's pretty much it all you have to do is once you actually do all that just restart your computer and boom you're done when you log in you let everything um boot up all the programs depending on the programs you have installed and and, and automatically and set to automatically boot uh when on boot uh boot up it will depend on how long and fast this will play um it's pretty cool and i think you can also use this to uh to troll people if you set it up correctly but i would recommend you guys that if you are going to be changing the sound it has to be a wav file format it can't be mp3 because you will just, or anything else it has to be specifically wav if you guys found this tutorial very useful i would really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon as well smashing that like button and share this with those your friends or anybody who really loves when loved Windows 10 back in its prime and really want that nostalgia um, kind of sound back into Windows 10 because with Microsoft Windows 10 you don't get that sounds anymore so this brings up the old memories and uh, but while keeping Windows 10 in your on your current system and it trust me you can always remove this and you can remove the wav and it will not damage your computer I've tested it I've coded it and I hope you guys do enjoy. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.